This is a Rusty Family 6 Tail Slides. Tail slides share many of the same line criteria as Family 5 figures. The main differences are found at the top of the lines. We'll briefly mention the line judging criteria and concentrate on the slide portion. Tail slides are a deceptively challenging family to fly and judge. Now on to Family 6. Here are examples of several types of tail slides with both upright and inverted entry lines. The exit lines can also be either upright or inverted. There are two categories of tail slides, wheels down and wheels up. On a rusty drawings, wheels down figures are designated by a solid line. Wheels up are denoted by a dashed line. The top row of figures are all wheels down, while the bottom row are all wheels up. The lines can have rolling elements added and, as with all the rusty drawings, the sharp corners are flown as smooth radii. Note that the pointed lines at the top of the figures are not radii, but represent the action of the aircraft during the stalled or near stalled condition. In tail slides, as in stall turns, the quarter partial loop radii don't have to match and all the standard looping rules apply. The lines must be wind corrected so they appear as true vertical lines up and down. Deviations from vertical are penalized at one half point per five degrees. The overall line lengths are up to the pilot and are not a judging criteria. With rolling elements on the interior lines, they must be centered, having equal line segments before and after. Figure 14 in Rule 7.1 is used to determine the actual deduction in the range of 1 to 4 points. In a tail slide, the aircraft must display a visible amount of backward movement. If no visible movement is seen, the figure must be scored a zero. As always, the competitor should receive the benefit of the doubt. Let's concentrate on the slide portion of the maneuver. The aircraft must fall in the correct direction, wheels down or wheels up. Close attention is needed to the direction of the slide since all other aspects of the figure will appear the same even if the wrong type of slide is performed. A slide in the wrong direction must be zeroed. The aircraft must fall with wings level in the correct plane. Deviations are downgraded at one half point per five degrees. Pendulum movements after the slide has been completed are likely and are not downgraded. The pilot, however, must re-establish a true vertical downline. As with Family 5, the downline reference point is established after taking into account the wind drift while the aircraft is in a stalled or near stalled condition. Entry and exit altitudes are not graded and may be different. Judges need to take the wind drift into account when observing the aircraft backward movement during the slide. If the wind causes the aircraft to drift away from the judge's viewpoint, the aircraft will appear to be sliding backward because of the change in the angle at which the aircraft is viewed. Consider also a tail slide executed with the aircraft drifting toward the judges. In this case, the aircraft may appear to have no backward slide and may even appear to climb slightly. Judges need to take these factors into account and of course, the competitor is given the benefit of the doubt. This concludes Family 6, Tail Slides. For more information, log on to mini-iac.com or arrestysystem.com.